What's going on everybody, there is a new technique that allows you to score from the midfield every single time. A couple days ago I posted a tweet of me recreating this glitch and it is exactly as easy as you think. This trick is commonly referred to as the death lob and it's a reference to another similar strategy used in Mario Strikers Charge. Before I explain how it works, here's a couple things you need to know. Just like the Titans chip, this can be used with any character, no matter what the passing stat is. But having a higher passing stat is going to increase the range that the chip can score as well as making it a little easier. To prove that this can be done with any character, I chose a Waluigi that has one passing. The death lob is incredibly easy to do. All you have to do is charge a lob shot a little bit, then as soon as you release the pass, you dodge with the next character. The pass should land exactly on the goal line, but so long as the ball goes behind Boom Boom without hitting the crossbar, it is going to go in. And before you ask, yes, the dodge is incredibly important because that's what triggers Boom Boom to go back and forth and not intercept the ball. Just like the Titan ship, this is a problem with how Boom Boom tries to intercept passes. What I think is happening is when you dodge, you break the pass target. So now you have free control over that character and Boom Boom gets confused because now he doesn't know where the pass target is going and he doesn't follow the ball. And without getting into too many details, but this is a new glitch that appeared after the patch. This could not work before the patch. And that's really weird considering they didn't patch the Titans chip, so I have no idea what could have broken in Boom Boom's AI to make this possible. Like I said, this can be done with any character, but your passing stat is going to change the range at which it works. For example, with my 18 passing Toad build, it seems like this is the viable range for where it works. If you go closer, you will not be able to charge long enough to get the ball over Boom Boom. But with my one passing Waluigi, it seems like the range is much shorter and smaller. Here is approximately where it works with this character. So it may not be necessary to load your team up with speedy passing Toads, but it definitely makes it easier. As for my thoughts, I think this needs to be patched as soon as possible. I've already had people express concerns in my comments that the game is getting really stale and not fun because this trick exists. In general, I'm not opposed to a trick existing that is going to give guaranteed goals, especially if you have enough space to do so. For example, the Titan's chip is perfectly fine in my eyes. However, shots like the Death Lob are just too big to ignore. Just because not only is it easy to do, but you can do it from incredibly far out on the field, which is the hardest to defend against. If you haven't tried it yourself and don't understand how easy this is, I recommend going into a match and trying it yourself. I promise you, you are going to get it within the first couple of tries. The upcoming season in Mario Strikers Battle League opens up in about four days, and I'm really nervous that Next Level Games is not going to get the patch out before the season starts. And unfortunately, if that's the case, I'm not confident that players are going to stay in the game if it means everybody is going to be using this cheap toad strategy. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to talk about in this video. I apologize for it being a shorter video, but there wasn't much to talk about other than just teaching you how this trick works. I know some of you have been waiting on some updated gear builds with the knight armor, so I will be getting into that a little bit. There's also some characters like Mario and Rosalina that need some updated builds, not because of Knight Armor, but because they need some points knocked down from Technique and put into other stuff. So feel free to subscribe if you have any interest in seeing those gear builds in the future. And as always, thank you for watching.